We're back. Let's get the hell out. Hmm. Yay! No more quarantine. We know. Hope against hopes that Vincent is home. This is like a habit I got into at the start of every day is check to see if something changed at Vincent's place. I think nothing ever does, but to be honest, it just kind of feels unrealistic when I do it. And I really want to make sure I don't miss anything because I've done that in the past. So remember, I just recently played this game. All this is still fairly fresh in my mind. I only glitched up once so far, and that was only because I was like, oh, I kind of forgot about that. We'll head to the park later. Um, let's check out the foreshore. We can go to the inn next. We're going to trigger a few things at the foreshore. Okay, nothing there yet. But when we leave, there will be. Hey, another guy. A painter. Well, it makes sense. People paint things like that all the time. So, uh... Well, I guess that would be hard. Let's talk to him. Hey, man. Okay, he doesn't want to talk yet. What's this? doing that but they're all walking kind of weird let's see if there's anyone else down the shore first we always check there's no timing or anything in this game thankfully I discovered this as I was playing although it does a great job of inducing that panic rock is kind of a red herring. Nothing here. Pretty quiet and peaceful. So, let's go. And that's another this is another place I always check cuz at least for the first few days, important things always happen, and there is something funny that happens at the foreshore uh, in another day, so we will be checking the foreshore every day. So. And I'm really, really glad Let's talk to the guy. Maybe we can help him out, you know. Maybe we can offer him a new paintbrush or something, or, you know, comfort him at least. Good response. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. You have no idea.
Trust me, helping him is going to be one of the most useful things we do today. But it won't come into play till later. So, let's get out of here and see if there's anything interesting around. What's this? We'll look at it in a minute. We do have to look at it. So let's get the hell out of here. So that artist just lost his paintbrush to a very, very curious magpie. Let's go get it back. There's a band! Yeah! Well, we got on day one. Yeah, birdie, birdie, birdie. Shiny. <laughs> they say raccoons are attracted. Watch this. Here's the thing. In any normal adventure game, this would be a game over. This guy can climb a fucking tree. He is my favorite adventure game protagonist just for this reason. He can climb a tree. He climbs it kind of like a weird robotic monkey, but he can still climb the damn tree. Let's head back to the foreshore and get that painting because we're going to need it. After that, we'll start looking for the tour guide who we're also going to need to talk to. My cat sits there licking him so far, clean and cute. I love having this uh, type of game in my collection. This is a fun game. And the story is, like, we're getting deeper into the mystery. Yay, flew all the way to the park with it. <laughs> you didn't risk your life. You were fine. That is generous of him. Yeah, for a cheapo paintbrush, that's pretty nice. But again, he considers his lucky paintbrush, so he's grateful and gives us something in return. So... Okay, that was dumb. So I kind of appreciate that. I, Again, there are very few unlikable characters, and they're not so unlikable that you want to hurt them, except for one. <laughs> yes, that would be a few bob. Okay, there's that piece of information. So let's start looking around for the tour guide. Well, they're right by the foreshore, and usually after you go to the foreshore, you go to the Cock Inn, which is a tasty, tasty place. Or at least good for a pint. So let's go to the Cock Inn, finally. Hey! A couple of tourists. Maybe one of them can help us.
Hmm. Hermione? Oh, great. Harry Potter time! Yeah, Harry Potter fans scream. Okay, so maybe uh, something's changed in the cock inn before we turn out for the minute, but I think we're going to the Burgess Hotel. Hey! Oops, I forgot to ask him something. <laughs> okay, I'm Mr. Mudlarker now. Okay, now. Thank you for your help, kitty. good to know. That skipping is getting a little nerve-wracking to me. Yeah, PC actually comes in uh, comes in handy for finding places. Well, he's a cop. I would assume he knows. Let's see if there's anyone in the background. We haven't checked. Nope. Right, please change the fucking. I'm gonna try. Try anything else but this. This music is just. Yeah, let me change it. Well, we're running out of time anyway, so uh, next time we're going to be heading to the Burgess Hotel. So we'll call this chapter the hotel. At least we have a general idea of where to go.